folks a very good morning good afternoon good evening to whom have you been watching a different sort of time period i literally welcome you all to this another video session so uh, we will be having a discussion regarding uh, the attacks okay who, who starts attacking or targeting unsecured linux ssh server to mine the cryptocurrency so before uh, that uh, it's just a advice uh, to all of you who have been watching so whenever you are appearing for any kind of interview folks make sure that uh, your internet connectivity is much more higher and you must and should have to be more uh, some must and should have to be more precise in giving your answer and start summarizing that precise part and further so because why i am uh, repeatedly saying in all the interviews that i have been failed uh, in one of the most you know, wonderful company where i have applied just because of i'm unclear about the base and eventually why because i start jumbling because of my internet connectivity my internet connectivity went down and probably that 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 confidence or that the the, the, the moment when i start appearing for the interview been the worst of ever so just uh, i make sure that you go through uh, that and go through the basics of what you have been studying so probably in the field of cyber security right they are they are under, they, they 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 must and should have to uh, know whether the candidate is uh, clear with his or her base or not base studies or not fundamentals or not that plays a very crucial role whenever you are appearing for any professional or experience job profile role so yeah make sure that uh, you must and should also go through the uh, company's uh, overview company's portal company's uh, designs terminologies protocols rules regulation because that is also one of the foremost questions that basically every employer every interviewer ask about the company right you must and should have to know about the detail about can you start giving a detailed explanation start summarizing what the company is and i will definitely uh, i'm i'm damn sure that you will definitely has the interview in a very first attempt without any kind of hesitations yeah so uh, in this video we'll be having a discussion about uh, the attacker who starts targeting the unsecured linux ssl server to mine the cryptocurrencies right so yeah if you are new to this channel please do a subscription okay so before discussing we'll be having a discussion on uh, what is ssh so ssh is all about secure shell is a uh, protocol that basically provides a secure way to access and also to manage the remote server or we can say linux systems often use ssh for remote administration file transfer and secure communication between network devices okay setting up and managing an uh, ssh server on, on on a linux system starts involving several key components and consideration okay what are the components of an ssh one is open cell so open ssh uh, is even we can say uh, the most commonly used implementation of ssh protocol because it includes the s s h uh, d dom doimon uh, which which is responsible for handling incoming ssh connection so it is a protocol okay so it provides a secure way to access and manage remote servers that's the reason why uh, we actually use ssl or open ssl is all about handling incoming ssl connection ssh uh, key what is uh, ssh key so ssh key uh, authentication is typically done using cryptographic key point key pairs we can say because what happens here is that the users have a private key on their local machines and a corresponding public key stored on the server okay so this is how an ssh works because the user have a private key and their local machine and corresponding public key stored on the server okay so public key are added to the ssh uh, dot authorized key file for each user okay so setting up an ssl server how to set up an ssl server installation so on the most linux distribution open ssl is available in default package respiratories installing open ssl was the uh, with the package manager for example on debian or ubuntu bas okay then after sudo apt get install open cell the server so coming to the con configuration right the main configuration file of the ssl server is usually located on um, 
the the path which is known as SSL config. So commonly config option includes support number, authentication methods, and uh, and, and and allowed user. So these are the how we can configuration firewall setting. So if a firewall is running on the server, ensure that it allows incoming connection on the uh, SSL port that is default 22. Adjust the firewall rule as 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 basically it needed. Then after key based authentication. So coming to key based authentication, right? It generates an SSH key pair on the client machine using the SSH key command that is SSH key gen slash T RSA slash B 2048 and copy the public key to the server that is all about the file path which is uh, shown here. Okay. Okay, so this is the file path which is shown here. Okay, so this is how we can um, copy the public path. Then after restart the SSH services, how to restart the SSH services after making changes in SSH. <coughs> I'm sorry after making the changes in SSH con uh, configuration restart the SSH server so because why we need to restart the server because a sudo service SSH restarts then after Debian or Ubuntu whatever configuration or whatever versions we have been using or we can also stay sudo uh, start SSH system uh, base. so secure cell uh, Debian so this is how what is secure SSH disable the password authentication if the key based authentication is in use okay so this is how we can secure the SSS okay so these are the different commands or setting up the components of SSS okay that is secure shell okay which basically start uh, it is a secure way to assist and manage the remote servers or you can say Linux distribution and which often has Ubuntu or Debian software or versions basically used for the remote administration file transfer and also secure communication between network devices okay network devices which is internet facing okay one to two communication between uh, one party to another party or one host to another host it becomes a secure connection okay so basically it has been used in um, linux okay coming to the uh, exact uh, what the what the news about so purely poorly secured ssl okay as you know poorly secured linux ssh server as being targeted by bad actors to install port scanner and uh, directory attack Okay, so directory attack tools with the goal of uh, uh, targeting other vulnerable server and uh, uh, co-opting them into uh, a network to carry on cryptocurrency mining and distributed denial of service attacks. Okay, DDoS attacks. Okay, so three actor can also choose to install uh, only scanners and uh, sell the benched IP and account credit credential on the dark web. Okay, here what actually happened is that the Alpha Lab Security Emergency, uh, Emergency Response Center said in a report on Tuesday. So in these, the attacker adversely atta uh, tried to guess a SSS credential to run through a list of uh, commonly used combination of username or password. It is all about brute force attack or denial of service. How we can say brute force combination of password is brute force attack. Okay, so techniques to directory attack. Okay, so it is one of the form of directory attack also. So should the brute force attempt be successful if it followed by the threat actor developing other malware including the scanner to scan the other suspectable systems into the internet and they okay so here what actually happened is that especially the scanner is designed to look on the systems where port 22 which is associated with the SSH servers okay or we can say services is active and then repeats the process of uh, uh, stating a directory attack in order to install malware effectively program pro propagating the infection okay so notably uh, uh, aspects of attacker is to execute the components such as uh, grip processor where it is execute the command to determine or to determine the number of CPU cores then after what actually happened is that so these tools are believed to have more created uh, more these tools are uh, believed to have been created by P RG old team okay and each three actor modifies them uh, significantly or slightly before using them in the attack okay according to ASC okay and then um, uh, American standard of uh, e-council okay okay uh, said that adding these adding these ad evidences of such malicious software being used as early in 2021 okay to mitigate uh, the risk of associate 
attacks with these uh, attacks it recommended that users rely on passwords okay that are hard to guess periodically uh, rotate them to and, and and keep their systems up to date so through this we can do that uh, finding and uh, finding or uh, we can say come of uh, raspberry uh, caspria valid that uh, novel multi-platform thread called uh, nk abuse is leveraging and uh, decentralizing peer-to-peer -peer network connectivity protocol known as um, known as a sort of new kind of network nkn as a communication channel for ddos attack okay so this is how actually we can up to date and as per the latest news how we can secure uh, a poorly uh, sss servers which are being targeted uh, for cryptocurrencies mining so, okay so this is uh, all about today's analysis folks i hope you have enjoyed the session so probably i will be ending the session here itself for you all thank you thank you for giving your precious time folks